Do you know it's story time, story time, story time? Do you know it's story time in our classroom today? And the title of this story is Bravo Chico Canta, Bravo! by Pat Mora and Libby Martinez and pictures by Amelia Lau Carling. So friends, we read this book two times before. Do you remember the title of this story? Miss Castine just said it. That's right. The title is Bravo Chico Canta Bravo. And what happened in Bravo Chico Canta Bravo? How was the problem solved? If you have an idea, let me know. And in this story, we have two vocabulary words. Our first vocabulary word is theater. Can you say that word with me? Theater. Do you remember what a theater is? That's right. It's a place that you go to to see singers, actors, and dancers perform. Theater. And our second vocabulary word is scurried. Can you say that word with me? Scurried. Do you remember what the word scurried means? That's right. Scurried means that you moved quickly. Now, friends, since this is going to be our third time reading this story, I'm going to need your help telling me some parts of this book. So let's begin. Bravo, Chico Canta. Bravo. Chico Canta and his mouse family lived in an old theater. In their cozy home, they listened to orchestras play, to actors and actresses sing, and to audiences clap. Sometimes the audience clapped for a long time, shouting, Bravo! Bravo! in Italian, which meant they liked the show. Hurry, hurry, pronto, pronto, sang Mrs. Canta. Tonight we're going to see the play, The Three Little Pigs. She clapped her hands together and sang, Let's form a line, una fila, por favor. Mrs. Canta, who was round as a top, liked to sing and to speak many languages, English, Spanish, and Italian. Mrs. Canta spoke to animals, too. She could speak cricket, spider, and moth. Mrs. Canta loved to see her 12 children line up, tallest to smallest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, said Mrs. Canta. Where is Chico? Not again, sighed Chico's eleven brothers and sisters. Tiny Chico Canta was never where he should be, be at the end of the line. Sometimes he was sleeping in his little bed. Sometimes he had crawled into the cookie jar. Sometimes he was hanging from the lampshade. Chico! sang Mrs. Canta as everyone scurried through the house, opening cabinets and looking behind curtains. Chico was on top of the hat rack. Chico Canta! said Mrs. Canta. Chico climbed down and ran to the end of the line. All of his brothers and sisters frowned. One of them pulled his tail. Dressed up in her prettiest dress, Mrs. Canta peeked out of their house to make sure that the kitten, Little Gato Gato, was not close by. Little Gato Gato, who lived in the theater, looked like a small orange tiger. Quickly, the Canta family scurried up the stairs. With their friends, the crickets, spiders, and moths, they watched the curtain rise. The lights twinkle and the musicians play. They laughed when the three little pigs built their houses out of straw, sticks, and bricks. Chico pretended he was a big bad wolf and tried to blow his brothers and sisters over. Chico Canta, whispered Mrs. Canta. She put her foot softly on his tail so he couldn't run around. Chico smiled and then tried to blow her over. When the play ended, the audience clapped a long time. The Canta family clapped too. Bravo! Bravo! Everyone shouted. 
With all the clapping, the cantas didn't hear little Gato Gato moving closer. Meow! Meow! said little Gato Gato. Eek! Eek! squeaked the cantas. Hurry! Hurry! Pronto! Pronto! said Mrs. Canta. The cantas ran as fast as they could. Little Gato Gato was right behind them. Chico was ready to blow little Gato Gato over like the big bad wolf. But just in time, Mrs. Canta picked Chico up and carried him into their safe home. That night, tucking each of their little ones into their beds, Mr. and Mrs. Canta softly sang, Dulce sueños, sweet dreams. Chico yawned and sang, Dulce sueños, sweet dreams. Bilingual, said Mrs. Canta. Bravo! The next morning, the Cantas began practicing. So what are they doing here, friends? Do you remember? If you do, let me know. Oh, and what happens next in this story? We have a special part for you to play, said Mr. Canta. I love special parts, said Chico. We know you do, said Mrs. Canta. Mr. Canta showed Chico the post he had made so Chico could be the tallest mouse in the play. Chico put on his sun costume and climbed to the top. Chico's brothers and sisters looked up at him and smiled. Chico beamed. Every day, the Cantas practiced the three little pigs. Mrs. Canta directed their animal friends. She whispered, chirp, chirp, to the crickets who played the music. She whispered, pss, pss, to the spiders who raised the curtains and moved the lights. She whispered, whoop, whoop, to the moths who practiced leading the audience to their seats. Chico liked to help Mrs. Canta direct. He whispered, chirp, chirp, pss, pss. Bilingual, said Miss, Mr. Canta. Bravo! Finally, it was time for the Canta family special night. They invited all their relatives who lived in the theater to see their play. Grandmothers and grandfathers, aunts and uncles, first cousins and second cousins, third cousins and fourth cousins. They did not invite little Gato Gato. Mrs. Canta whispered, zzz, zzz to the fireflies to turn on the flashing lights. She whispered, whoo, whoo, to the moths to take everyone to their seats. She whispered, chirp, chirp, to the crickets to start playing the music. She whispered, pss, pss, to the spiders to get ready to raise the curtain on the small stage. Let's form a line. Una fila, por favor, sang Mrs. Canta. I have one big bad wolf three little pigs, three flowers, four trees, and Mrs. Canta said, Where is my son? Where is Chico? Not again, sighed Chico's brothers and sisters. Mr. Canta found Chico smiling at himself in the mirror. When the curtain went up, Chico Canta waved at everyone from his perch. He bowed and said, Buenas noches. Good evening. He raised his hands and directed the audience who answered, Buenas noches, good evening. Bilingual, said Chico Canta. Bravo! The play started and the audience laughed and laughed when the little pigs built their houses out of straw, sticks, and bricks. On his perch, Chico began to look around. He looked up and down. He looked to the right and to the left. All of a sudden, in the shadows on the other side of the low wall, Chico saw something move. Oh no, what is happening here, friends? And what is happening next? Do you remember? Eek! Little Gato Gato, yelled Chico, pointing at the shadows. Bow wow, growled Chico in his loudest voice. Little Gato Gato jumped and ran away as fast as he could. Everyone clapped for a long time. 
Chico bowed and bowed. Bilingual, everyone cheered. Bravo, Chico canta, bravo. The end. So friends, why do you think Chico canta was given the role of the sun in their show? If you have an idea, let me know. And have you ever been in a show? And what might have happened if Chico didn't learn how to speak another language? What do you think would happen? And I wonder what little Gato Gato will do when he sees Chico canta again. If you have an idea, let me know. I hope you enjoyed our last time reading this book. Bravo, Chico Canta! Bravo! Till next time! Bye, 